Hey campers, it's uh, Counselor Carmela here and I'm going to be showing you guys how to make a banana boat. Um, we are going to be using the uh, campfire method. Um, you could also cook this in the oven. Um, you guys will be able to see a recipe in the description below. So, um, so first and foremost, you want to get all your ingredients ready. I have two bananas because, uh, you know, just a couple extra. Um, but you need a banana, you need chocolate um, cut up into squares about this size, and you need mini marshmallows, um, and you need two pieces of tin foil and a pair of tongs and an adult because we are going to be working with a fire an open flame and even if you're working in the kitchen with uh, in an oven you're still going to need an uh, adult supervision all right so this is a knife as you can see we want to be really really careful with the knives um always hold them away from your body and when you're cutting you don't want to cut towards yourself you won't always cut away so we're going to make a slit right through the middle nice and um deep not too deep to cut through the other side, but you want to cut so you can have a nice little opening to put all your marshmallows and your chocolate. So um, you're going to open it up a little bit and you're going to take your marshmallows, as you can see here, and you're just going to just press them in there. You're going <laughs> to shove the marshmallows in. It's going to take a little bit of like strength. We just shove the marshmallows and chocolate in to the slit that you made in the banana. Um, just a pro tip, I think just like stuffing it to the max gives you maximum flair, flavor. Um, so after you get desired amount of chocolate and marshmallows into your banana, you are going to want to close up your banana as best as you can, just like this. I'm going to squeeze it a little bit. You're going to set it on the tin foil, remove these so you can see, and you're going to wrap it up the best you can. The reason why I said two pieces of tin foil is because you really can't cover it all um, with these little ones anyway. So you want to make sure you fully immerse the banana in the tin foil. Now this is where you're going to want your adult to really help you out. You are going to take your tongs, make sure they work, touch each other, you know, good grip. And you're going to take your tongs like this and you're going to set it into the fire where the coals are. <clears throat> so we're going to walk over here to the campfire. Now you don't really see a flame right here, but the coals are super hot. That's what we really want to make sure that your, our food is cooking um, evenly and good. So we're going to just set it right here in the coals. Because it's covered up, you don't need to worry about getting dirty. You're just going to put it right here in the coals, nice where it's hot. And you're gonna leave it in there for about 15 minutes just to make sure that it's cooked. If you, you think it's cooked, you, you're gonna wanna mush it a little bit. And if it's not mushy, if it doesn't move, that means it's not ready. All right, so I had already made um, a banana in the beginning, so I'm gonna show you what the finished product is going to look like. It's right over here. Um, you are going to want to set it down and let it cool off before you open up because it's going to be really hot um, because this is metal. But your finished product should look something like this. Nice and oozy and delicious with the marshmallows. And then you're going to get a spoon and you're going to eat it right up. Alright, I hope you guys enjoyed the banana boat tutorial cooking video. And I'll see you guys around.